Hey Virgo, um, welcome to my channel. My name is Maya and I'm here to do your 1111 gateway. Oh, I forgot my ring somewhere. Um, I'm here to do your 1111 gateway reading. Um, so the 1111 gateway is coming up really soon on the 11th of, no 11th of November. Um, it's a cosmic gateway, it's one of the most sacred cosmic gateways. Uh, there's so much to be said about it, uh, I'm not going to get into uh, to everything that has to be said about 11.11 here because it's just too big of a subject and it would take, would take too much time. Let me just say that it's, um, you know, 11.11 is a mastership number and this gateway is, um, is a cosmic gateway for you. Basically when you step into it with consciousness and, and intention, you open yourself up to divine knowing a divine intuition to uh, yin and yang sacred union and enlightenment uh, it's extremely powerful it feels like we've been through a series of portals uh, i mean we, we've been through a series of portals uh, and uh, you know the the first of them uh, being the 10 10 in october and now the 11 11 uh, leading up to the 12 12 gateway uh, and to the 2112 uh, winter solstice, so <clears throat> it's a very powerful um, series of gateways that all feel connected, uh, and they're all leading up to 2020, which also feels like a very powerful year of activation and integration. So that's why I'm doing this uh, reading for you. Um, so uh, let's start, let's just get uh, right... In your reading, Virgo. So uh, when I was meditating on your um, energies uh, right before turning on the camera, I got it was uh, um, a very specific vision that I had for you. It, it's unusual. I, I usually get different visions that are more linked to uh, the 3D to the human life, and this okay, this is also linked, of course, to the 3D, but. It, it, it felt very, um, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, it'll be easier. So I was feel, I was seeing the, the Earth, Gaia, uh, from uh, the, um, uh, from space, okay? And all the grid, you know, the grid network around it, you know? Um, and it seems like uh, for a number of you who uh, I'm connecting to uh, through this reading, uh, you are light workers, you are conscious awake light workers who are grid workers. So it seems uh, like uh, this message for you was um, uh, that uh, your grid work uh, is going to, you know, jump a level, I think. And you're going to be uh, uh, working also with uh, ley lines if, uh, if you're already working with them. I think uh, your work will, will, will you know, go to the next level uh, and then uh, from seeing guy you know from the, the the sky then there was a zoom in uh, on all the continents uh, you know and the seas and I was seeing all these uh, really luminous points that are uh, Virgos <laughs> uh, that are scattered around uh, Gaia you know like living all over the planet and they were getting really, really illuminated, really enlightened. Uh, so it seems like your life is getting also uh, upgraded from the inside out. It was beautiful to see, you know, all this network of Virgos all around Gaia and their life, their personal individual life getting completely illuminated. So it seems like, uh, you know, as a general message, whoever, whatever, yeah, the Virgo group that I'm connecting with, uh, there's, you know, it seems like generally your collective is really getting a big upgrade with the the, the series of gateway gateways. Um, so let's see how this will translate in your reading. Alright, 
So you have the chariot, <clears throat> the queen of wands, the fool, wow, <laughs> the ace of cups, <laughs> and the four of wands, wow, wow, Virgo, okay, <laughs> I can see how your life is going to get upgraded. <laughs> It's quite clear. And, oh, the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. We'll talk about this. Okay. I'm going to clarify with a different deck. This one is a little hard to shuffle because it's too big for my hands. So bear with me. Ace of Pentacles, uh, clarifying the chariot. The Lovers, wow, clarifying the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands again, clarifying the Fool. The Six of Pentacles, clarifying the Ace of Cups, wow. And the Ten of Wands, clarifying the Four of Wands, wow. The bottom of the deck, Page of Cups. Okay, it's uh, pretty amazing <laughs> so far. I mean, wow. Okay. So, uh, the first row uh, is going to be your recent past or whatever energies you're coming into, uh, uh, you know, into this reading with. Uh, the Queen of Wands are your current energies. Uh, 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 sorry, <laughs> the, the second row uh, is your current energies. The third row uh, are the energies brought in for you uh, by the 11 gateway or the energies you're going to be stepping into, basically, when you step into the gateway. Um, fourth row is the potential outcome and last row is the advice from spirit or the message from spirit. Okay, let's start. So, um, the energies you're coming into um, that um, uh, the 1111 11 gateway uh, with are the Ace of Ariel or the Ace of uh, Pentacles uh, and the Chariot. So, the Ace of Pentacles is a beautiful, beautiful new beginning uh, in the physical world. Uh, Ariel is the Archangel of Prosperity uh, and Abundance, and this is exactly what it talks about. Uh, you know, it's a new beginning in your physical life, uh, uh, in areas uh, like uh, your your home, uh, uh, your family situation, your relationships, uh, friendships, uh, work, life, projects. Uh, it can be any of those areas, but it really has to do with earth, right? It is this earth energy that I was feeling for you. Uh, it's, um, and of course Virgo is an earth energy. So it's connected, uh, you know, it's connected to your physical life, to your 3D life. And uh, you've just had or you're coming into a new beginning in your physical life that seems extremely solid, extremely abundant. That is, the, it's the ace, so it's the very beginning, but it's a promise of something that is extremely solid, that will stay uh, in, a li in your life, that, uh, you know, uh, withstand the test of time. Uh, that will stay with you long term, okay? And it's something, uh, you know, coupled with the chariot, it is something that you can move with uh, uh, in a very positive way. Uh, it will make you feel completely, um, you know, uh, uh, you completely solid in your life. You, 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 you know where you're going. Uh, you're, you, you know exactly the life path you're on. Um, it's very clear to you and you're moving ahead, uh, you know, at the chariot pace, you know, a very uh, swift, um, uh, rapid, fast pace, 
um, you know, you're starting from the east and then the chariot takes you all the way there. <clears throat> and we were saying, you know, that 1111 was the, um, uh, the sacred union between uh, yin and yang. And this is exactly what I'm seeing here for you with, you know, this, uh, the two um, sphinxes here in the card. Uh, where you can clearly see, you know, the yin and yang, the dark and light, basically uh, these dualities coming together. Uh, the chariot is a card of victory, it's a card of positive uh, uh, movement forward, it's a card of feeling in control uh, uh, of your life, but not in control in the way, you know, in the sense of controlling everything, no, it's in the sense of being aligned, of having harmony between your dualities, of having harmony between mind uh, and uh, mind, heart, and soul. Um, so it's it's a movement forward that is completely aligned with your authentic self, uh, with your passions, with where you want to be in life, uh, at a very deep centered level. So these two together are extremely positive, of course, and these are the energies that you're coming in with. And uh, let me say also that you have a lot of. Um, uh, major arcana uh, here so you have the chariot you have the lovers you have the fool uh, actually they're not it's not that many but they're quite quite powerful okay so your current energies uh, you're coming up as the queen of wands uh, paired with the lovers which is a major arcana as well so Queen of Wands is somebody, you know, it, it reiterates, basically repeats everything that I've been seeing. It's you um, having this deep-seated passion. You know, a queen is a very mature energy. It's an energy, uh, it's an archetype of, of someone who knows exactly what they're doing. Uh, they've been through a hell of a lot of experiences in life and they're coming out of it uh, full of wisdom, full of passion, but a, a passion that is not impulsive, not based on ego. It's a, it's a passion that is completely heart-centered, and uh, it's a very um, a giving energy also. It's a very uh, determined, uh, per persevering energy. Um, you know, she 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 takes inspired action, inspired action from from her that is born from uh, uh, passion, that is born from enthusiasm, that is born from a real uh, sense of life force and excitement for life. Uh, and this is paired with the lovers. Um, you know, <clears throat> the lovers in the right away deck in the traditional tarot. Uh, it's these two people uh, standing in front of each other and there's an uh, archangel behind them. So it also talks about sacred union, and I'm seeing sacred union all over your uh, your reading here. Uh, we'll see that uh, further on uh, with the message uh, of, uh, by, you know, the, the, the message of, this, of spirit, uh, where you have the four of wands as well. So it's um, it seems like it this can really be... Um, I mean, this is a general reading. I'm not intending it to be a, a love reading or or a career reading or anything, but I'm talking about what, what seems to be coming up. And I think what's coming up for you, what I uh, from what I can see, is a, a, a real up-leveling, a real next-level uh, upgrading uh, in, in your life, whether in the physical... Um, in the physical realm, you know, materially, uh, abundance, uh, prosperity, uh, jobs, uh, home, all that stuff with the Ace of Pentacles, but also uh, in your life, love life with the lovers here and uh, the Ace of Cups that, and uh, the Four of Wands that we'll see uh, later on. Uh, the lovers, uh, for me, is uh, a card of... Um, uh, it can be romantic love, right? It can be a really beautiful um, soul, uh, soul-based connection, whether it's a soulmate or a twin flame, or or just you know somebody that you really have a, a very spiritual connection with. Uh, it can be romantic. It can be otherwise. It can be different types of of partnerships. Um, and if that's the case, then uh, you're appearing as the queen of wands in this uh, relationship uh, so you're full of passion um, you're full of um, uh, you want this okay it's something that you want it's something that's going to make you feel very passionate it's something that uh, meets uh, your expectations when it comes to a partnership 
the lovers can also be a decision, you know, uh, a decision made between uh, mind and heart, okay? Uh, and it's it, it's often the lovers are often ask you to follow your heart more than your mind, and I think the Queen of Wands does that. Uh, um, you know, uh, like the Queen of Cups, for example, uh, not the Queen of uh, uh, of Swords, because the Queen of Swords is, it represents the intellect. But even though the Queen of Wands represents passion and 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 projects and stuff, in a sense, um, it's they're all heart centered. They're all coming from uh, your heart chakra. So. It seems that whether uh, it is a decision that you have to take or a partnership that you're coming into uh, or that is already there, uh, you are pursuing, uh, you know, this with uh, a lot of passion and um, uh, in a very heart-centered way, okay? Um, so what's really funny here, I mean, it's not funny, it's like amazing, it's, uh, you have the Fools, so another major arcana, and you have the Queen of Wands again. So you're really, really appearing as the Queen of Wands in this reading, okay? You're very fiery here. Um, there's a lot of fire in your reading. A lot of pentacles as well. Um, so, again, you're appearing as the Queen of Wands in this um, uh, deck. Uh, she uh, It says, I'm going to read the card. Passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. And that's that's what I was seeing in the vision for you, okay? Whether you're a great worker, uh, you know, on, on a spiritual journey or, you know, you, you care about spirituality, obviously, if, you, if you've clicked on, on, on this video... Uh, it seems like you're really leveling up, you know, all these uh, beautiful Virgos that uh, were getting illuminated all over Gaia. It seems like, yeah, the, your your life is being completely upgraded uh, uh, from the inside out. I mean, it starts within you and then it spills over uh, your entire life and then all over Gaia. And it seems like you are going to be connecting with other Virgos uh, or, at, or you know, a soul tribe or a group of people that you uh, w w you would be seeing really eye to eye with in whatever projects uh, or endeavor is starting for you with the Ace of Pentacles uh, and um, this this powerful movement forward with the Chariot uh, and this decision you're making, uh, heart over mind to follow your passion, whether it is in romance or in your work or whatever passion you have, uh, however it applies in your life, uh, it offers you this absolutely beautiful new beginning with the Fool. You know, it's the zero card of the tarot deck. It uh, always represents very powerful new beginnings. Um, and you have that all over your, your reading as well with two aces here, the, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. It is also the fool is somebody who um, feels extremely light. Whatever experiences that they've had in the past, uh, they've left behind. You see, he's not carrying much. He just has a little bundle. Uh, there's uh, the white, the, the little white um, uh, dog that for me represents spirit, this loyal spirit that is always with you. You have the universe at your back. You know, it's extremely sunny, um, vibrant, brilliant um, energy and you're ready to take on the world basically you you have no fears you have no um, <clears throat> no anxiety no uh, qualms no whatever no, nothing hold you back from this uh, from this new beginning and sometimes the fool you know it can be said that okay he's going to step you know the next step is o it's over this cliff you know but he's completely uh, trusting and uh, he has complete faith that when he takes the next step he's going to be completely carried you know he's going to he's going to be completely fine he's going to fly basically uh, but sometimes you know uh, it can be a warning of you know not being foolish or or just you know uh, not taking this next step without knowing where you're going well I think that's not happening for you as at all because you're a Virgo and you you know take care of all the details but also because you have the Queen of Wands, you know, she's 
she's extremely uh, wise. She knows where she's going. She has assessed the whole situation and whatever risks that she's going to take, you know, with uh, the Ace of Pentacles, the Chariot and the Lovers, uh, she knows what she's doing. She's assessed, the, the, she has the big picture, you know. Uh, so you have this beautiful new beginning that is again paired with the Queen of... Um, of wands, and I don't know why I was taking this one when it was right here. Um, so yeah, so it, it's, it's what I was just saying. You know, it's okay. You're taking this major leap of faith, right? And but you're taking it as the queen of wands. You're taking it as somebody who uh, has gone through a hell of a lot. I think you've had, you must have had a major cycle. Uh, and this is the beginning of a new one. You've taken all your lessons with you. Uh, you are extremely, um, you know, you know, it's it's a beautiful place to be where you've learned all your lessons. You have this, the the, the groundedness uh, of of the the knowledge, the deep knowledge that you have, the deep knowing that you have. But you have, you also have the the, the light, the light heart, the heart, light heartedness, the light uh, footing in life where you can afford to take risks and and, and move on, on on to a new journey that is going to uh, level you up big time from what I'm seeing here, okay? So these are the energies brought in uh, for you uh, uh, by uh, the 11, ga 11 gateway. And wow, you know, how how fitting, how fitting, you know? Uh, as you step, like you see that the, the fool is, is, is stepping into the unknown. You're stepping into that gateway as the queen of, uh, of wands, uh, with, with all this passion, all this brilliance that you have, and it's taking you to a beautiful, beautiful new beginning, okay? Um, so the potential outcome, wow, Virgo, I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, wow. Um, the potential outcome is the Ace of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. So, um yeah, <laughs> wow, so you have two aces, right, um, so these again indicate new beginnings, they indicate also leveling up, you know, you've gone through the whole uh, suits and now you're at the ace again, so it's a new beginning, um, the ace of cups in particular, you know, is uh, really about emotional, emotional fulfillment, it's about you, you know, feeling really uh, completely fulfilled, um, happy, uh, joyful, f filled with wonder, filled with gratitude. Your your cup runneth over, right? Um, it's a gift from the universe. Both of these are gifts from the universe. It seems like whatever cycle you've been through, you've killed it. <laughs> I mean, you've learned all your lessons, you've done all your processing, uh, whatever dark night of the soul, um, you know, purging, um, core wound, uh, shadow work, whatever, however you want to see it, or just, you know, have, have, having, uh, having gone through... Um, many tribulations you know this comes as a reward this comes as you know the completion of, of a long cycle of of healing deep healing okay the ace of cups is a very healing energy of course um, again this can be in romance it's often um, um, you know uh, indicative of that uh, so you very well might have new beginnings in your work uh, uh, space uh, work life, um, you know, whatever, home, family situation, uh, anything that has to do with the physical, but also it can have to do with your passions or hobbies or uh, self-employment, something that you uh, were passionate about and now uh, viewing as a possible career. And the uh, Ace of Cups um, uh, is this new beginning in love, right? Uh, it's It's the heart chakra. Um, but it's combining to really, you know, um, it's amazing. It's uh, just a beautiful, beautiful, uh, light-filled new beginning for you. With the Six of Pentacles, which is uh, a beautiful card of give and take. So it's a, it's a, it's a card of equality. It's a card of reciprocity. Um, it's a card of balance. 
it's what you give you receive back what you what you uh, you know it's it's this uh, beautiful again harmony between yin and yang between the giving and receiving um and uh, so it you know you you're going into this place in your life where uh, if there were any injustices in um, in in the past, any unfair situations, any people uh, people were uh, sometimes taking advantage of you, um, you know, situations at work or at home where you felt uh, uh, that you weren't getting uh, what you deserve. Well, that's all changing. You know, you you're getting exactly what you deserve, and uh, the relationships that you're gonna have, you know, whether in work or in in life. Uh, sorry, uh, whether in love or in work, uh, they're going to be extremely fair, and that completely again ties in into the vision that I had for you, uh, with all the uh, all your lives being illuminated, and then this network of of Virgos all all around Gaia, uh, plus the grid work on top. I mean, and the ley lines. It seems like you're really gonna uh, be um, connecting to. Uh, a soul tribe, family tribe, uh, you know, like-minded people, and um, that's going to transpire into really, really um, equal um, um, partnerships, okay? Um, so, really beautiful. <laughs> and to top it all off, which is amazing, again, you have the Four of Wands, uh, and uh, the Ten of Wands. Wow, wow, so much fire, so much passion first. Uh, this is the message uh, from Spirit. Sometimes it, it's an advice and sometimes it's just pointing your attention to something and I, I feel it's both here. Uh, so the Four of Wands is really uh, this beautiful card and it's the eleven eleven card, so it's, it's a real synchronicity here for you. It's real serendipity happening in your life. Um... I mean, uh, it's it's just it shows me how powerful uh, this gateway is going to be for you, and that was that's what I was seeing and seeing definitely in my vision for you. Okay, so uh, the eleven eleven card is you know uh, sorry the, the four of wands is um, the twin flame flame card and also um, the eleven eleven card as you see you know two wands on either side that's the porter right here depicted for you. Uh, but generally speaking, it's a card of a beautiful new foundation. Uh, it, you know, it's uh, it's beautiful. It's abundant. It's sunny. It's joyful. Uh, it's um, it can be marriage as well with these two people here. Uh, it's just a card of a beautiful new foundation, which you have all over the place here. I mean, you have the Ace of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Cups. You have the Fool. Uh, you have the chariot, um, and here's this beautiful new foundation that you've built for yourself. And this is a very solid foundation. This is a four, uh, you know, indicating the square. It's extremely um, uh, solid uh, geometrical number, uh, geometrical form. Sorry, and it's beautiful. I mean, it's a solid, solid, solid new new foundation, and it's paired with the ten, ten of wands. The ten of wands is uh, the end of a major cycle that has taken everything out of you. Uh, when you get to the Ten of Wands, you know, uh, you're ready to, um, you know, let let the past behind. You're just letting all this baggage uh, just fall by the wayside, whatever it was, emotional wounding, uh, traumas, um, betrayal, whatever, loss, um, you know, healing that has taken, you know, healing crises that have taken a lot of out of you. It can be, any and everything, okay? But in the, with the Ten of Wands, it's a completion. It's a 10. Uh, 1 plus 0 equals 1. So it's a new beginning. The new beginning is inherent to this as well. And you're just ready to leave all this behind. <laughs> uh, ready to leave all the, the yucky stuff behind. All the, the, the difficult, basically the, the difficult, uh, challenging... Um, experiences that you've had uh, you're leaving them behind and and entering into this beautiful new beginning I mean it's just absolutely gorgeous here uh, uh, and you know settling into this um, amazingly bright um, new foundation in your life 
So yeah, uh, and also as as um, as an advice from Spirit is to also do that. You know, if you want to enjoy this beautiful new foundation for yourself, <clears throat> the advice is to leave everything behind. You know, take the fool's advice to leave all the baggage behind and step into this new uh, portal for you. I mean, it's perfect. Step into this new portal uh, that is opening up for you with the eleven eleven gateway. Uh, light, you know, um, that could entail forgiveness, you know, uh, leaving some people behind, maybe. Um, however, it is, I'm sure you know how, what it is in your life. Uh, this is a general reading. Uh, it would it would completely behoove you to um, uh, let all the, you know, uh, let by, by, bygones be bygones, okay? Um, so, there's also, I think, um, a small uh, message here for you. I'm just gonna do it quite quickly because, I mean, it's 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 just clear, you know. I don't I don't even feel the need to clarify anything, and that's again that again is the um, the same message here with the ten of uh, wands. <clears throat> is whatever happened in the past, you know, that made you feel like the Nine of Swords, that made you feel uh, anxious, uh, depressed, um, wounded, um, you know, lost, uh, being stabbed in the back, whatever it is uh, that has made you feel like this, uh, with the Seven of Swords can really indicate, you know, betrayal, uh, being stabbed in the back, uh, this, this uh, deception, people wearing false masks, whatever, however, uh, whatever it was, um, it's just to you know, cut it out of your life, you know, with the Queen of Sword, cut it out, just in one sing, you know, uh, single uh, swoop, <laughs> just cut it out, you know, uh, you, you you know you don't have to be too harsh about it, and that's the page of uh, of cup that you have here. You know, be compassionate about it. Be be gentle about it. You don't have to, you know, be nasty about it. But definitely uh, cut it uh, out of your reality because you have this absolutely beautiful uh, new beginning um, happening for you. So this is your reading, uh, Virgo. I hope you found it uh, enjoyable. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.